I apologize for my tardiness. Um, so, all right, so let's get ready to get into what we need to get into this morning. I um, say good morning again to you all. I'd like to give um, prudence and shout out to to Aunt Toya for allowing me to come in this morning to share a word with y'all this morning. I was just impressed on my heart to do that, um, to be able to, and I didn't, I guess I didn't charge no phone this morning, y'all. I got this thing running with the podcast and last night, rather, I didn't charge anything. I don't know what I was going through last night. Had been something going on last night. All right, so, but um, I'm going into Mark chapter four, and so I am excited about being able to share with y'all this morning. I pray that um, you are blessed this morning by what the Lord will give me to share. Uh, it was something that just came up in my spirit this morning as I was just in my time of meditation, just, you know, just lying there in the bed and in the time of meditation, and I heard the Lord concerning this, and I want to I want to share this with y'all. So let's go to um, Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. It seems like I said Luke. I don't know if I did or not. I'm sorry if I did. Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. And I'm going to see if I can pull out what it is that the Lord um, is showing me concerning this right here to enlighten y'all this morning with prayer. So this is, uh, oh my God, today is May 2nd. Wow. Wow. May 2nd. May 2nd. Oh, wow. So um, Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. Let's go down to, um, let's go over to verse 35. Mark chapter 4, verse 35. Mark chapter 4, verse 35. All right, so, and it reads as thus, Mark chapter 4, verse 35, it says, And the same day, when the eve, when the <clears throat> even was come, he said unto them, meaning Jesus, let us pass over unto the other side. So the evening has come, and he's talking to the disciples, and he's saying to them, let us pass over unto the other side. So he's saying, look, we got somewhere to go, boys. You know, I know we've been in this position right here long enough, but we got somewhere to go. So let us go over to the other side. I would like to just interject for a moment. It's not what I'm doing this morning, but I would like to interject the thought that just hit my head. You know, what is it that you need to get to the other side of? What is it that you need to get to the other side of? What is it that you need to get to the other side of? So we're in Mark chapter 4, verse 35. What is it that you need to get to the other side of? What is it that you need to pass over to get to the other side of? What is the, what are the things that are just uh, in your face, you know, just consistently in your face, in your ear that you may need to just get to the other side of? I got a feeling it's going to be good this morning. What is it that you just need to get to the other side of what are some things that you just need to you know maybe work on just letting go and getting to the other side of you 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 need to see the other side of this you know it's uh it's just all up in your face it's all up in your ear it's all up in your mind it's all up in your sleep and everything what is it that you just need to get to the other side of, well, I'm still stuck right there on that one verse and I need to move on, but I got to show you something. If you will notice, somebody spoke about going to the other side and it was not the people that were restricted where they were. Uh, I'm going to say that one more time for y'all to hear it this morning. Somebody spoke about going to the other side and it was not the people that were restricted in the place where they were. 
It was not the people, uh, maybe they didn't have an idea of the fact that they even needed to leave the place where they were to get to somewhere else, but somebody spoke about going to the other side. I don't think they hear you this morning, God. Somebody spoke about going to the other side. Listen, let me talk to y'all and tell y'all something. Uh, literally, 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 when there are situations that are going on, and I'm in the middle of a situation right now where there is uh, a difference that took place, uh, maybe a couple of situations where there is a difference that took place, but somebody has to take the initiative to say, let's go to the other side of this. Uh, uh, somebody has to take the initiative to say, hey, look, listen, let's get some resolve in this. Let's get to the other side of this. We've tarried in this long enough. We've been in this place long enough enough. We've been in this situation long enough. It, it's like they say, uh, you hear them say say on Facebook sometime, I read them where, where people would say, I don't like it here. You know, sometimes you have to just uh, make a decision. I don't like it here. You know, what is it that you don't like? I don't like it in confusion. Uh, I don't like it in disagreement. I don't like it. In, oh, oh, it's about to get hot. I don't like it in, uh, in, in uh, you know, misunderstanding. I don't like it when we're separated from each other. I don't like it when we're not communicating. I don't like it when we're not sharing, you know. I don't like it here. And so Jesus is literally saying to them, it's time to go to the other side. You know, it's time we've served the time that we need to serve here. Listen, y'all need to put an expiration date on things that keep you from having peace. God, I, I'm, 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 I shouldn't have told you, you should have told me no this morning. You should have told me no. You should have told me no. And I just would have had to respect what you said. You should have told me no. Look, you got to give an expiration date. It's, oh boy. You got to give an expiration date to things. You you know, you've got to things that keep you out of your, your place of what you know God originally intended. And it wants to keep you out of that place. You've got to put an expiration date. God, I ain't even finished with the text. You got, you know, you need to put an expiration date on those things and literally say, hey, listen, listen, uh, let's go to the other side. Somebody has to take the initiative. I'm about to get in trouble now. Uh, Cause look, listen, let me, let me, let me, let me talk to y'all grown folk. I need to, I need to talk to people that's grown. You know what I'm saying? You, you got some bills you pay and all this little type stuff and you made it to an age where uh, nobody can tell you what to do. Even God can't even tell you what to do. I had to throw that in there for you. So, you know, uh, you done made it to this grown stage. And I, I need to talk to you uh, this morning about the way we go about caring, you know, conducting ourselves with things. Sometimes you can get just a little bit too grown. You you can get too grown to where you become a hindrance to yourself. And you really don't, uh, don't know how to handle things in the way that they need to be handled. You can get so grown that you literally think that oh, I ain't got to do something. I ain't got to apologize. I ain't. I ain't got to say this and I ain't got to say that. And there are trigger words I wish I could teach this this morning like I need to. There are trigger words that you can tell with people that have gotten grown but they haven't got healed. Oh, God help me this morning. I didn't need to do this. I, I didn't have, I should have stayed back there laying down meditating. I didn't have no business messing with this prayer this morning. Listen, there are grown folk but they, they, they have, you can tell by things that trigger them, that they're grown, but they haven't healed. God help me this morning. I'm still trying to work the text. You won't let me go no further, man. I need to go down in the text. This ain't even the verse I heard this morning, but you got me stuck right here. Look, they're grown, but they have not they, they haven't healed. They're still, you can tell by things that trigger. Oh, God, help me, please. Uh, watch them triggers, Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Watch the things that trigger. Jesus Christ, help me. Uh, and you'll know the triggers because there will be a response uh, that will come back that's literally like, a, like it, it's, it's almost like an attack when it comes back, but it's not an attack. You, you, you it, it is literally a defense. 
threats that goes up. So it is a trigger. Oh, Jesus Christ. And so Jesus is saying to them, listen, cats, listen, fellas, we've done everything that we need to do in this current place as to where we are. It is now time for us to go to the other side. Listen, uh, uh, listen, I know some of y'all would think going to the other side, literally, yeah, I need to get out of here. That's my cue to go on and get out of here. That's my cue to go on and leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the word. The Lord just sent the word through the woman of God uh, to give me my cue that I need to get on out of here and that I need to leave. No, so you, you, you messing up the text. You're taking something out of context and that's not what God is saying. He said, look, let us go to the other side because we are no longer to be in this place. But when we go to the other side, if you'll notice, we going together. See, y'all missed that whole thing right there. If there was a problem and there needed to be separation, I'm finna get out of here this morning, y'all. If there was a problem and there needed to be separation, he would have said, I'm going to the other side. Y'all stay on over here. Jesus Christ, help me, please. But he did not say that. He said, let us go to the, uh, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. He did not say, I'm going to the other side and left them. Let us go to the other side, which means we are done with the situations that we dealt with over there. So let's go, baby. Let's go to the other side. Now, we need to take more territory. God, help me, please. See, when you have not overcame some things, you can't go to the other side. Oh, I'm going to get in trouble. You cannot go to the other side when you have not overcame some things. What you're going to do is you're going to take that to the other side. Yeah, you may get to the other side, but you still going to be dealing with what you left unattended on that side, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, what you mean I'm going to be, it's going to be unattended, what, what I left unattended that I didn't deal with. I'm not going to deal with that. I'm, I'm, I'm free. I'm f- free from what? what? What you free from? What you free from? Free from what? Free from what? Because uh, the very thing is going to hit you on the other side when you do not. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're going to make me work the text this morning. I don't have but a few minutes, y'all, but I'm going to work this text to show y'all exactly what the Lord is saying here. When they went to the other side, if you continue to read, when they went to the other side, they were confronted with something different. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, help me. I'm going to throw a nugget out here that's worth a million dollars for you that was saved your life if you hear me this morning with what I'm about to say. You will know because you will be confronted with something different. If every time you turn around, it's the same thing coming at you. It's the same argument coming at you. You have not taken, you either gone to the other side but done took that mess with you or you have not dealt with the situation that needs to be dealt with at hand. And that is the reason why it keeps coming in the same manner. It keeps showing up in the same manner because there has been no victory gained in that situation. When they went to the other side, they were confronted differently. It was not the same type of situation that they had previously dealt with because they had gained victory over that previous situation and the time had expired for it and they needed to shift to something else. God, help me please. You become frustrated in life when you are literally carrying so many things from the past over to the present place of where you are. It wears you out. I need to help y'all to understand that there are going to be things that happen in life. We cannot get away nor escape from things that are going to happen in this thing called life. But how you know when you are able to handle the things of life is when you are literally handling them from the position of where they are, not handling them from the position of where you've been. If you are literally 
be handling them from places of pain and from places of past that have not been healed, then yes, it's going to overwhelm you. Yes, it's going to overbear you. Yes, it's going to be heavy on you, more heavier than what would suppose. Why? Because I did not heal from yesterday and I've taken yesterday into today. God, help me, please. Every day of our life is literally set by God. And how do you know that? I'm going to tell you how I know. Because we are giving new mercies every morning. But how many of y'all listening to me this morning that hadn't got offended with what I'm saying? And if you do, you'll be all right. Listen, I love you anyway. Listen, let me tell you how many of you understand the fact that you can take yesterday into today and ruin your new mercies. God, help me, please. Those new mercies are given to us to be suffice for what we would deal with today. But baby, you can burn up your mercies on yesterday and not even get to use them for today. And before you know it, you are overwhelmed in situations. Oh God, because God is still having to allow you to use mercies on what Billy Bob did back when you were 13. God, help me, please. On how this one walked away from you and hurt you, their finger out of here and hurt you when you were 16. Now, Lord, have mercy. And you 40 some years old now. You 50 some years old now. And you still dealing with mercies, having to be used with old things. Lord, help me. When the Bible declares that they are renewed every morning. Why? Because every day is suffice within itself. Every day got situations and circumstances that is going to bring on its own. But Lord, help me. I can't even use it for today because I done used it for yesterday. I done woke up this morning, God help me please, with some malice in my heart. Why? Because of something some joker did to me six months ago. And I got malice in me still. I had to use some mercies just to get up to go to work. God help me please. I had to use some of my mercies for today just to be able to smile at people. Why? Because I'm still hurting from some stuff that happened uh, when I was a child. Lord have mercy. Can't even use my mercies for what's coming. I gotta get out of here, y'all. I can't even use them for what's coming today because I'm still having to use them for things that happened to me yesterday. God help me. Let's go to the other side. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the other side, y'all. I'm here this morning in the capacity of the Holy Spirit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the other side. God help me, please. Uh, Let's go to the other side. Lord Jesus, let's go to the other side. You got to understand that the Lord loved them so that he would not leave them. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. You done mess around and let them told you about these words in the Bible and they have literally metamorphically used them to make you think that it is just a story. But baby, it is God's glory being revealed to us. It is God's glory being manifested to us to let us know Jesus said, I love you y'all so much. Let's go to the other side. I'm going and I want you to go too. Oh God. I'm going and I want you to go too, Jesus Christ. I'm going and I want you to go too. Peter, you mean to tell me you want me to go? Yeah, Peter, I want you to go too. Wait, wait, hold up. You must didn't hear me. I just got finished cussing a couple of folk out earlier, but you want me to go too? Yeah, Peter, I want you to go too. Why? Because on the other side, I'm going to heal you. You're going to be healed, son, from them things that happened to you. You, huh? And you're not going to have to conduct yourself like that anymore. Huh? Why not? What you going to do now? Now you're going to minister to people, Peter, huh? and you're going to literally become uh, uh, the rock. You're literally going to become the one uh, that I would build my church upon uh, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Huh? You are literally going to become that one, Peter. And so you, you come on, son, uh, and let's go to the other side. So let's see if I can move on now. 
in the text. They literally begin to travel. Uh, God help me please. They literally begin to move to the other side. And when you look at the text, uh, verse 36 says, and uh, when he had sent away the multitude, they took it, they took even as he was in the ship and there was also with him little ships. I wish I could talk to y'all for a minute about that. Uh, but I'll throw this little interjection in there for you to understand that there were little ships because that means your support system. Uh, and when you get ready to go to the other side of things, uh, you might want to be careful who you're talking to. Uh, your support system. See, uh, if your support system, Lord have mercy, uh, is not helping you, uh, I tell our God to be free. Uh, Lord help me. Uh, and I'm not talking about being free with busting up stuff God done ordained. Uh, but I'm talking about giving you the wisdom and, and literally trying to help you heal from some things that that's not your support system. Uh, be mad about it, but you'll be okay. Verse 37 says, and there arose a great storm of wind. I told y'all something came in a whole different form. Uh, it was not the same as it originally was. Uh, see, when you are moving, things should come different. Uh, uh, God help me, please. Uh, if you keep getting the same type, man, uh, uh, Jesus, I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, uh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> You, are you sure you go to the other side? Oh, because something different happened. Now they're literally facing a storm. It's a completely different type of situation. I wish I could work this text like I feel it, but I got to get out of here this morning, y'all. Listen, it, he, it says, and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. Oh, boy. Wait a minute, Lord. Now look, on the other side of this, we were dealing with people that needed to be healed. We were dealing with some words that were spoken. We uh, were dealing with maybe a touch of rejection over on the other side. Now we are going over into something and here's a whole new different storm. Yeah, but you got some new mercies, baby. Uh, you got some new mercies. Okay. Remember this morning, I gave you some new mercies. All right. Uh, just go. It's going to be all right. See, uh, I gave you some new mercies. You, 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 It's a whole different ball game. Lord, help me, please. Y'all, I don't think y'all understand growth in the spirit. I don't think y'all understand progressive movements in God. I really don't think y'all get that. I not, and that's not to degrade you any, but it's to help you to understand because it literally comes at me the same way. I don't think we, I'm going to say we, understand growth in the spirit. And to understand that we grow from glory to glory is how we move. And when you transcend in the spirit, there are different things that happen. And so uh, you want to stay on the level of dealing with pettiness, uh, but the Lord wants you to graduate from being petty and literally now learn to see it from a whole different perspective, uh, literally now grow in a whole different facet of things. So now they are going to the other side, which means there was about to be a major accomplishment. There was about to be new territory, but when they're in the midst of going to this great accomplishment and this new territory, a storm arose. A storm arose and the Bible calls it a great storm. It says a great storm of wind. Please pay attention to what it says. A great storm of wind. Wind blows away. Wind can be so powerful that it'll move something. A great storm of wind arose. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. A great storm of wind arose, and then some waves began to beat into the ship. Notice it didn't say they beat upon the ship. It says they got in the ship. Lord, help me, please. What's done got in your house? Lord, help me, please. What kind of trouble done got in your house? What kind of trouble done got in you? What you struggling with? What kind of anger and bitterness? What's inside of you? There, there, there's some waves that got in and beat into the ship uh, so that it was now full. Lord, help me, please. Ah, uh, uh, baby, can you stand the rain, though, huh? Can you deal with it? Can you stand the rain? If it don't go the way you want it to go, can you stand the rain? Look at what it says. Uh, it says that it beat into uh, the ship. Notice the way the wording is set. Uh, it got in the ship so that the ship was now full. Uh, I meant my maximum capacity is what 
what you think. I can't take no more. I'm sick of this. I got to go. I can't handle no more of this. Why? Because it's now full. But baby, I need you to just stay with me for a couple of more seconds. I'm going to run over in time, but I'm going to get out of here in just a few minutes if y'all will allow me. I just need you to stay with me for a couple of more seconds. Now, it literally says that that some waves and all got into the water of the waves got into the ship, right? That's what the text just said. Verse 38 says, and he, meaning Jesus, was in the hinder part of the ship. He's in the back and he's asleep on a pillow. Lord have mercy. You resting in the midst of this God. How is it that you can rest in the midst of this? Don't you see what's happening? No, I'm asleep, so I don't see. But my sleep is indicating that everything's going to be all right. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? So they literally are trying God. I, I, I wish I had time to really flex on this text like I want to. You got to see how we handle that man. Run up on him and uh, run up and get done up, as they say. Literally have a fit when God ain't fixing something uh, the way that we think that he should fix it. Won't even let the man rest. Uh, gonna wake him up and say, don't you care uh, what's going on in here, Jesus Christ? Uh, I need to show y'all something, if you will allow me right quick. Uh, you know you in trouble when a situation tries to make you mad at God. Uh, oh, God, help me, please. Uh, you know you in trouble when a situation, definitely won't you go get out of here this morning. I'm gonna leave in a minute, y'all. When a situation tries to make you mad at God, uh, oh, Jesus, when it literally tries to make you uh, point the finger at God. It's done happened to me before, y'all. Uh, God, why didn't you fix that? Uh -huh. Why didn't you do that, God? Uh, how could you allow that to happen like that? Uh, you know you in trouble when uh, a situation wants to make you mad at God. Uh, this situation sent them straight to Jesus to start some mess. Uh, don't you care that we perish? Don't you see what's going on here? Don't you care? Don't you care? Don't you see what's happening? And then it says, and he arose, verse 39, and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. He did what he had to do. But verse 40 is going to tell on us. Verse 40 is what's going to tell on us. It's finna tell on us now. And he said unto them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Why, why, why are you so scared? Why is it that you have no faith that God can handle the situation? Why is it that you feel the need to bail out? Why is it that you feel the need to run? Why don't you see the need that God can fix it? Verse 40 just told us. Why? Why? Why don't you have faith in the ability of God? Why? Maybe because you have too much faith in your running. Maybe because you have too much faith in your giving up. Maybe because you have too much faith in the fact that I ain't finna keep getting hurt. I ain't finna let nobody hurt me. You got more faith in the walls that you built than you have in God. You got more faith in that. You got more faith in the things that has caused your heart to become callous than you have faith in God that he can change the circumstance. Somebody, Lord, help me, God. I got to get out of here, y'all. Jesus gets up, handles the storm because he had the ability to handle it anyway. 
Jesus wasn't studying that storm. They thought he got up and handled it because they came to him in the manner that they did. But he got up and handled it so they could see who he really is. Then turned straight to them and said, now look here, don't play with me like that no more. Don't come running up on me with your faithless self no more. The next time I'm asleep, you leave me sleep. That's you over there struggling like that. I wasn't worried from the beginning. Why? Because I'm hinged on the word of my father. I told y'all he exposed where we are. He exposed where we are. I'm going to back out of here and leave y'all alone, all right? I'm going to back the train out and I'm going to leave y'all alone. He exposed where we are. He exposed exactly where we are. He fixed the situation but still brought exposure to him to say, look at y'all. You ain't got a lick of faith. And don't you come running up on me no more like that. Next time I'm resting, you leave me resting. Because if you had any sense, you trust me. And your trust should have looked at that mess and said, the Lord got it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not running from nothing. I'm not walking out on nothing. The Lord got this. Why? Because he's God. He's God when the lightning flashes. He's God when the thunder roars. He's God way up in heaven. And he's God down in their thing soul. And I know God is God. And God won't ever change. I'm not running. You have to take the mentality of the Hebrew boys. If he don't deliver, it ain't because he can't. If he don't deliver, it sure ain't. Look at all them negatives. It sure ain't because he can't. You have to take the mentality of Daniel and say, let me go on and lie down in this lion den because I'm going to sleep. God got this. I'm called to go to the other side. I would invite y'all to travel with me. Let's go to the other side of this. Let's make it to the other side of this, y'all. Let's go. Father, I bless you this morning in the name of Jesus. I honor you. I thank you for who you are. I thank you for what you do. I've dropped what I've sensed. Uh, I pray I heard you and dropped it like you wanted me to drop it. I pray it hit where it needed to hit. I ain't wrestling with folk. You already know I'm not fighting with nobody. I'm fighting to hear you. That's the biggest fight I'm ever going to be in. Is to hear you. So I thank you. That the people have listened with their spiritual ears. And not from the sifters of their flesh. And the carnality that we live in each day. But I pray those new mercies that were given to us this morning. Will be used for today. And we will discard the things of yesterday. That are attempting to continue to hold us in our lives but that we will be free from the pain of things and free from the, the desire to want to control and handle things and realize that we don't run up on you talking about some master does that not care? Why do you want God to care about something you claim you don't care about? It's not true. Father, send the spirit of truth in this earth. It's too many lies running around here. Send the spirit of truth in this earth. And we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I love y'all. Toy, you can finish it. Thank you for allowing me to come in. I'll catch y'all later. Be good. Know who to call when you need to.